Today's video is a reaction to a video posted by O'Shea Duke Jackson titled, Shady Pastor Takes and Marries His Member's Wife. Now, I'm going to be sharing some high-tech pimp game in this video, but it's going to come with some smoke and flame. If you cannot stand the heat, get out the kitchen, so go ahead and click off now, okay? The reason why guys who just clicked off will never improve and get the, the type of woman and the wealth that they want is because they can't take any form of criticism, yet they are the very type of guy who complains that women don't want to be held accountable. Now, if you can't take criticism and you don't want to be held accountable, doesn't that make you kind of like a chick dude or half a female? See, guys like them always lose their woman because most women are not lesbians. Therefore, they want a real man, not half a female. The reason why guys like the one in O'Shea's video lost his wife to another man is because he has no idea what a woman is for and how to properly use her. The pastor was wrong, of course, all right? However, he saw the value in that man's wife. And he also saw that the man was wasting the woman's value, so he took her in order to utilize her value on his behalf. And Muppet News Flash, if you have a valuable woman and you don't know how to use her, you will lose her. If you don't know how to use a woman in the way that God designed her to be used, she will go rotten on you. Let's talk about it. Now, as I said in the intro, I am going to teach you some high-tech pimp game. Now, I'm not talking about teaching you how to use and abuse women sexually to make money. See, I don't pimp hoes, I pimp pros. See, I'm not a pimp in the illegal sense. I'm a public intellectual making paper. Now, I don't pimp hoes, I pimp pros, all right? And I'm an expert at pimping words and phrases. And you can look at my website and see how I dress those words and phrases up in books and CDs and then put them out on the street to make money for me. Therefore, I don't need you to watch my YouTube videos to make money, and I'm giving you the benefit of my knowledge and experience for free. So if you are too much of a Mitch or a male bitch to learn some high-tech pimp game because it comes with a little criticism, I need you to click off now and unsubscribe, okay? Because I don't want to cast my pearls before swine. Now, for those of you who can stand the type of heat that causes men to become worth their weight in gold, so you clicked off some of my other videos, um, here's a review, okay? Real men understand that a woman's power is a type of currency that was designed by God to make her family wealthy. See, her economic power is fueled by her spiritual power, which is called currency. And real pill guys had difficulty accepting this reality because they were never told the truth about what currency is. The paper and coins that we use to buy things is cash. Money is an idea that has no intrinsic value until we infuse it with cash and turn it into something tangible. But cash is a physical entity, therefore, it's a tool that we use to transform ideas into a physical entity. Now, it's important to remember that every intangible idea and physical entity has a spiritual property. I see your body is a physical entity, but your soul is your body's spiritual property. And in this regard, currency is a spiritual property or the soul of cash and money. See, the soul or the spiritual property of ideas causes them to flow away from men that don't know how to make them multiply and prosper. And the spiritual property of a woman is like currency because it causes her to leave or to flow away from a man who does not understand how to use, utilize her power properly. She will go or flow like currency or money into the hand of a man that does know. And Proverbs 4, 7 warns us to get understanding. And Proverbs uh, chapter 5, verses 9 and 10 tells us why. It says, lest you give your honor unto others and your years unto the cruel, lest strangers be filled with your wealth and your labors be in the house of a stranger. See, if you don't understand what to do with a woman, it will cause her to divorce you, move to a, move another man into the house that you paid for and build the wealth with him that she could have built with you. See, we have all seen a woman who left one man and did better with another man. And this is the reason why that happened. All right. Now, brothers, it's important to remember also that a woman's spiritual power or currency is not just related to money and cash. Her currency also includes a unique array of inherent knowledge, gifts, talents, ability, and energy that she was born with inherently because they can be traded for cash. Now, once a man understands that 
money and cash have a spiritual property called currency, and so does his wife, he will be armed with the knowledge that he needs to obtain and retain cash and money and to utilize his wife's spiritual pro uh, power properly as if it was his own physical property. Then he will have the power to keep his money and to keep his honey from flowing to another man and making that guy wealthy. The problem today is we have too many men who act like women and they want to get married for love instead of money. And see, when the love wears off and the woman doesn't get the money, she takes half of these guys' money and then leave. And the man in O'Shea's video lost his woman to a pastor because shady pastors teach women in their congregations that marriage is about love. And the reason why they do that is because they don't want the women in their church to be married. You see, shady preachers know that the love is going to wear off, all right? And the woman will leave with half the man's money, and then she will come back to the pastor with more money in her hands that he can trick her out of. Too many pastors are making the word pastor synonymous with the word bastard. A bastard is a fatherless child, and too many of these pastors act like God is not their father. And I don't know how many times people have to be warned to beware of, sheep, of wolves in sheep's clothing. So I'm just going to warn or alert you to the fact that a man who won't teach you right won't treat you right. The Bible says that love never fails, but because shady preachers teach about love erroneously, it does fail men eventually and cause them to lose their wife to another man. And this happens because 90% of pastors in America have no seminary training. Therefore, they don't know that there are several types of love expressed in the Bible's uh, New Testament uh, Greek language. One of them is philagidia, which means avarice, lust, greed, or covetousness, okay? And this is the type of love that too many men get married on today. And so when the woman they marry doesn't get the money that she wants, her lust and greed for status and things makes her leave. Now, some men also get married on what's called erotic love because they love to have sex with a particular woman. And almost every preacher you know, except of course for your, your preacher, you lying church lady, they say that sensual or erotic love comes from the Greek word eros. However, I have a PhD in, in biblical studies which required me to spend four to six hours studying a day, not just reading, studying the Bible, six days a week for 17 years straight. So I can tell you with authority that I could not find eros being used that way in scripture. Eros in Greek mythology is the god of love or the son of Aphrodite, whose mischievous inventions in the lives of mortals cause illicit bonds to form, which is what we call cheating and adultery. When the um, excitement of erotic love wears off in a marriage, people begin to look outside of their marriage for that kind of excitement. And too many men today are half a female, so they want their marriages and relationships to be based on women that they love the rather than someone that they can build a fortune with. Marriages and relationships formed on sensual or erotic love always fail because they are based on feelings and feelings fade over time. And if you get married because of the way that a person makes you feel sexually or emotionally, you could find yourself married to a person that you love to make love to, but can't stand to live with. The love that we should get married on brothers from the Greek language is thelo. Now, thelio is the kind of love based on a decision or preference. And contrary to popular belief, love is a decision, not an emotion. We decide who we are going to love, and we decide who we are going to let love us. Marriage is a decision also, because we decide who we are going to marry, and we decide who we are going to allow to marry us. And this is why the traditional marital vows lead you to make a public declaration of your decision to prefer your, your spouse over all others. And once you decide that you are going to remain with your spouse for better, for worse, or for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, you get married, right? However, that decision alone will not allow you to stay married after you get married. You have to do something to give a woman an incentive to stay with you because she wants to, not because she has to. And let me say something. You punk ass chumps can call all of this some simp shit if you want to. But regardless of what happened in the marriage, we are responsible for it. The men are responsible for it because we're the family leader. You see, real men understand that if we want to take credit for the good, we also have to accept responsibility for the bad. 
Women were designed by God to respond to their husband. And in Genesis 3.16, God told the woman, and your desire shall be to your husband. And as much as modern women hate to admit it, they can't help it. And this is the reason why they desire to have a woman. But due to natural hypergamy, they also want a man that is doing something to raise their standard of living. Therefore, you have to give a woman something positive to respond to, and she will multiply it back to you. But if you give her something negative, she's going to respond, uh, negative to respond to, she's going to multiply that also. So men must understand that without a vision, the people perish and marriages perish for the same reason. It's difficult for a woman to remain dedicated to the marriage with a man who does not have a vision for where he wants to lead his family. Now, guys, I have never seen a man with a vision who didn't have a wife that was displaying a strong sense of commitment, diligence, resolve, uh, enthusiasm, perseverance, persistence, tenacity, and drive toward the man and the marriage, okay? See, his vision and her desire to help him fulfill the vision provide the power that she needs to help uh, her remain happily dedicated to him. Therefore, brothers, the dedication to staying in a, a marriage for a woman is connected to the husband's vision. If he is constantly leading her to go somewhere with him, she will always remain dedicated to him. And the reason the woman in O'Shea's video left her husband for another man is because, because the other man had a vision, he had ambition, and he was doing something that she believed that she could help him achieve. In the eyes of a woman like her, uh, uh, a, a guy like him is a real man or a better man than her former husband. So she made a decision to leave her husband for a better man. And guys like him always get left dog or curved because while they are adult in age and size, they are actually adult adolescents. You see, women grow weary of being married to a man-sized boy and they start looking for a real man. Isaiah chapter 56, verses 10 through 12, it says, his watchmen or his teachers are blind. They're all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs, and they cannot bark, sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. Yet they are greedy dogs, which can never have enough, and their shepherds or their leaders cannot understand. They all look to their own way, everyone for his own gain or, or, or from his own quarter. Come you, they say, and I'll fetch wine, and we'll fill ourselves with strong drink, and tomorrow shall be as this day and much more abundant. Now, this reminds me of the level up cats who have a dream of being rich while sitting around doing nothing or playing video games all day. However, this scripture is more than closely describing the men on YouTube who have taken upon themselves to teach you about women in relationships. But their information is always chaotic and toxic, causing more confusion rather than delivering a clear remedy. See, they sit around every doggone day complaining about women because they usually don't have a wife. Therefore, you cannot... Uh, uh, they cannot teach you about the value of having a wife and for those of you who, who want to build wealth. See, they are making money by luring you into watching all of their videos while you should be doing something to make more money or getting some training from a real man who can teach you how to become a better man, a better husband, and a better father and provider. Brothers, sitting around watching these YouTube videos is serving to keep you penniless, keep you powerless, and to keep you womanless. And see, the woman in, the, in O'Shea's video left him for another man, and that's true. But what the YouTube complainers won't tell you is if your woman leaves you for another man, it's your fault. See, they won't tell you the truth because they know that you will unsubscribe and they won't be able to make any more money off you. And brothers, it's the same reason that pastors never criticize women in their church and only tell them what they want to hear. See, these women who would rather really have a husband, they, stuck, they stay stuck with no husband year after year because they are never told the truth by the man that they listen to or, 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 or what they need to improve in order to get and keep a husband. And this is the same reason why you guys can't get and keep a woman. The men that you listen to can't afford to offend you, so they only give you this woman ain't shit content because that is what you want to hear. On the other hand, brothers... I don't give a damn about your feminine emotions, okay? Or if you throw a hissy fit and unsubscribe like a little bitch, okay? I'm going to tell you what you need to hear, whether you want to hear it or not. Now, if a woman leaves you for another man, brothers, and I say this again, it's your fault. And yeah, she may have some faults in her character, but if you were the man that she needed you to be, you would still be with her and she would be doing everything she can do to help both of you level up. 
However, the reason why you will lose her is because you have no idea about a woman is for and how to properly use her. And here's a Muppet news flash. If you don't know how to use her, you'll lose her, okay? If you don't know how to use a woman the way God designed her to be used, she will go rotten on you. Fruit is called produce because it was designed with everything that it needs on the inside of it to be productive. A woman was designed by God the same way. So a woman is a lot like a piece of fruit. If you set an apple on the table and never use it the way it was designed to be used, it'll go rotten on you. And if you don't use a woman the way God designed her to be used, she'll go rotten on you too. Then another man will come along and have to clean up the mess that you made. Well, that's over the half for now. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, share this video with your family and friends, and I'll be back with something new that nobody told you. Until then, remember that God loves you, I love you, and there's nothing you can do about it. And I'll see you next time on Maximizing Fatherhood.